I am going to help you solve a total intake problem where it is a piggyback infusion. Let's read the problem. The patient is receiving an antibiotic mixed in a secondary bag of 50 milliliters every 8 hours, infused at 100 milliliters per hour. The patient also has a maintenance IV infusing at 125 milliliters per hour. If the secondary bag is run piggyback to the maintenance IV each time, how much total IV fluid will the patient receive in a 24-hour period? In this problem, we see that the secondary bag is run piggyback. So the first thing we're going to do is try to understand what it means for an infusion to be run piggyback. In our IV setup, we have the large bag, which is the maintenance fluid. In general, the maintenance fluid is always running, and so I have the blue line of maintenance fluid running through the IV tubing to our patient. In this scenario, we also have a secondary bag, the small bag of 50 milliliters, and it is a medication, an antibiotic. This medication also needs to be infused every 8 hours. However, because the medication is to be infused as a piggyback, that means in order to infuse the medication, I need to stop the maintenance fluid. Using a clamp, I stop the maintenance fluid. Then I start the antibiotic, the secondary infusion. So as you look at the IV tubing, the red from the secondary bag and the blue from the maintenance bag do not mix. Now that the secondary bag of an antibiotic has finished, I restart the maintenance fluid and it runs once again. I will repeat this process every time that I give the antibiotic. Let's start looking at the details. As I read through the problem, I am given information on the secondary bag that it is 50 milliliters every 8 hours infused at 100 milliliters per hour. I am also given information on the maintenance IV that it is infusing at 125 milliliters per hour. We've already talked about that the IV is to be run as a piggyback IV and it's asking us to calculate the total amount for a 24-hour period. First, I'm going to start by looking at the details for the secondary bag. The secondary bag is to be given every 8 hours. So in a 24-hour time frame, I'm going to give 3 doses. Once I have figured out how many times I will be administering the medication, I can develop a timeline for the IVs. I'm going to draw this color-coded the way that we looked at the IV meds. First, we have our maintenance fluid, which we use blue for, so our maintenance fluid is running for some period of time. I need to stop my maintenance fluid in order to administer the secondary bag. The secondary bag we modeled in red. So I will run the secondary bag and then I will stop the secondary bag and return to the maintenance fluids. I will run my maintenance fluids until it's time for my next infusion of the medication. Again, I will stop my maintenance fluids in order to infuse the secondary bag. Using the red, I model the second infusion of the secondary bag. Again, the secondary bag stops and I return to the maintenance fluids. The maintenance fluids continue until it is time for the third infusion of the medication. I need to stop my maintenance fluids in order to infuse the antibiotic. I complete the third infusion of medication. Once again, I will return to the maintenance fluids. The maintenance fluids continue for the rest of the 24-hour period and I would repeat the same process again the next day. 
In the timeline, we can see that some of the time was used for the secondary infusion of the antibiotic, and some of the time represented in blue was used for the infusion of the maintenance fluid. What we need to figure out is what is the total volume. In order to do that, we'll need to calculate the amount of time that is spent for each IV. We had started with our secondary bag. We figured out that the patient will receive three doses within a 24-hour period. Each bag contains a volume of 50 milliliters, so I'll multiply the three doses times the 50 milliliters to calculate the total volume received from the secondary bag. Because this IV is run piggyback, when the secondary bag is infusing, the maintenance fluids have been stopped. So I also need to know the amount of time that it took to infuse the medication. There's a total of 150 milliliters that are infused. We are also told that the secondary bag is infusing at 100 milliliters per hour. I need the milliliters to cancel in order to calculate the hours, so I need to put the 100 milliliters in the denominator of my fraction. These two numbers are joined, however, so the one hour goes on the top of my fraction. When I multiply, the milliliters cancel. So I have 150 divided by 100, which equals 1.5 and the label is hours. Going back to my timeline, that means that each of these red spots would have been a half hour, adding them all together for a total of one and a half hours within the day. Now I'm ready to look at my maintenance IV. The maintenance IV is running whenever the secondary IV is not running. Within the 24-hour time frame, there will be one and a half hours where the maintenance IV is not running. So I subtract out the one and a half hours and I get a total of 22.5 hours. This is represented by all the blue marks on our timeline. These total 22 and a half hours. We are given the information that our maintenance IV fluid is running at 125 milliliters per hour. So for each of the 22 and a half hours, the patient receives 125 milliliters. That means I can multiply these to figure out the total amount of fluid that the patient is receiving. Although I'm setting this up, by what intuitively makes sense, the dimensional analysis works as well, and I see the hours cancel. When I do the multiplication, 22.5 times 125, I find that the maintenance IV provides a total of 2,812.5 milliliters, and I used a calculator to calculate that number. In order to find the total for the day, then, I add the two of these together. And so this patient received 2,962.5 milliliters of IV fluid within the 24 hours.